Howdy, guys. Welcome to night eight inside the Big Brother All-Stars house. This is Cliff Notes, uh, overnight feed summary from outside the house. Hope y'all are all doing great. Let's get right into it. It's the night before a live eviction ceremony, so house guests, uh, and more importantly, the night before the next HOH competition. So a lot of the house guests have gone to bed a little bit uh, earlier than usual, which makes it a little easier for me to talk about what's going on, but that doesn't mean things didn't still happen this evening. So we're going to try to cover all of that in the next 15 minutes or so. Uh, let's talk about, all right, here's something that's very interesting, just in terms of logistics of the game. Uh, battle backs, you know, how are we going to work this season? Uh, Janelle made a mention. She said that she actually asked, I assume before she came into the house, what would happen if she was evicted week one or two? Would she go home? And she said she was told that, no, she would be there until mid-September. Hmm. That suggests to you that maybe the first three or four people are, are going to go into some kind of a sequester and do some kind of battle back. Very well possible. It certainly makes sense given what we've seen in similar situations in past seasons. Uh, but with it being a little bit shorter season, if you bring someone back in a battle back, that suggests to me that you're going to need to do more to get rid of more people on down the road. Maybe more than one double eviction. Hey, maybe a triple eviction like they've done up in Canada. I don't know. But Janelle said that. No one's going home till mid-September, so I thought that was very interesting. All right, so some of the conversations that have gone on. Uh, Danny had a bit of a crying uh, meltdown earlier in the evening. Uh, a lot of people are calling her mean, and she said that she knows they're probably joking, but still really hurts, uh, kind of hits home with her, that she's trying not to be mean. Uh, she did say that David has said it three times. Uh, again, she, she says that she knows they're joking, but at the same time, it may drive a wedge between her and some of these people if they continue to say it. So just something to keep an eye on. Uh, it's the first time that she mentioned David specifically, so I don't know if that's created a little bit of a fissure between the two of them. Don't know. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> Tyler and uh, uh, Danny and uh, uh, so who else was in there? Cody, several people down in the photo bedroom talking. Uh, and, and several of the people, Tyler and Danny in particular, said that Keisha hadn't even asked for their vote yet. Had barely had any conversations with them. Kevin, on the other hand, has been working hard uh, through the last few days. He's really been campaigning a lot. Uh, it seems like the vote uh, still seems to be overwhelming to uh, to keep Kevin. Uh, apparently, Keisha talked to, to Dave, uh, Dave on earlier and talked about girls protecting girls within the house is, is very important. And it should be guys versus girls to some extent, using that as, as a reason to try to, to keep her. But uh, other than, than a little bit of a, a thing I'll talk about just in a second uh, about what Dave Vaughn had said to uh, Janelle, uh, I, I, I think that Kevin has the votes. Could be wrong, but so far I think Kevin has the votes. All right. Uh, one thing that Danny did tell Cody and Tyler was that everyone, and she's talking primarily the, the women of the house, uh, suspects Tyler and Cody are working together. And they acted surprised that, that such was, was actually brought up. But uh, uh, she said, now, everyone thinks y'all are working good. Y'all aren't fooling anyone. Uh, Tyler actually had a pretty good idea. I like this. He said that uh, if one of them wins HOH, HOH in the next two weeks, that the other one ought to uh, compete in the safety competition. Uh, even though they, they would know they are, they're safe, do it to throw off some suspicions, make everyone think that maybe they don't trust the HOH uh, as a way to distance themselves. I think it's a pretty good idea. Uh, Cody and uh, Nicole Franzel were talking, and it's interesting. Uh, there were some conversations about Danny in there. Even though Danny is part of this uh, this Alliance of Six, uh, part of Memphis's little group, and I've heard them say that maybe they're going to be called the usual suspects. They talked tonight about maybe calling themselves the closers, but then someone recognized that closer could actually also say C, losers. And, and they didn't like that. So I'm not sure yet just what the alliance name is going to be. Uh, but Cody and Nicole Frenzel talking about it and said they don't really trust Danny. Uh, they think that she is telling Janelle everything. Cody actually said that he has been saying some fake things about Janelle to, uh, to Danny just to see what happens, just to see what gets passed on to Janelle, just to try to trap her a little bit. So even though they're in the same alliance, there's still not full trust uh, perhaps between, between everyone in that group. Uh, so we'll see how that goes on down the road. Bailey and Davon, uh, interesting conversation they had in the bathroom, I recall. Uh, Bailey said that she would prefer to work with Tyler as opposed to throwing him under the bus. She didn't want people to think that she was playing him all along. She'd like to work with him. 
Uh, Davon pointed out that Tyler feels bad about his past treatment of Bailey. Nicole Franzel feels bad about past treatment uh, of Davon. I think it's probably not thanking Davon for voting to award Franzel the uh, the the winners uh, 500k. Uh, but with both of them feeling bad about the way they've treated uh, Davon and and Bailey, uh, Davon is suggesting they may be able to work those angles and help help get more alliance. Uh, they also talked about because remember Davon and Bailey and Cody and Enzo have a little group of four. And so they're talking about they could bring Tyler uh, and they could bring um, uh, Tyler and uh, and Nicole in as well uh, as, as part of the group and use kind of that leverage and them feeling a little bit bad to make them grateful to be in the alliance and, and loyal uh, to Bailey and Davon. They're playing the game hard. They, they truly are. That's very interesting. Uh, they uh, said so they'll be grateful to be brought into the alliance, uh, as I mentioned. But... Uh, Davon also said that she didn't really want to bring in Christmas or Nicole Franzel uh, because they don't think either one of them will watch out for, for the other uh, women uh, in the group, that they'd be happy to be the last woman standing. So they're, they're not real comfortable bringing them in. But if they do, uh, they would be considered the expendables. And I don't remember if it's Bailey or Davon that says, I think it's Bailey. They said, yeah, if they are, just keep in mind, they're, they're the expendable, expendable ones in the group. Uh, they do suspect that Ian, Ian and uh, Nicole Franzel are together, so, which they are. They formed their little millionaires club and, and they're suspecting it. Uh, they also want to protect David as long as possible. Uh, they want to protect him, but they also don't want to give him a lot of information. They kind of want to keep him at arm's reach uh, as much as possible. Uh, also, what's going on this evening? Uh, Kevin has switched to his alter ego, Anita Vito. Uh, he showed it to, to Davon and uh, Nicole Anthony up in the have not room, but they convinced him not to show everyone else until after the eviction tomorrow. That's probably a good idea. It's going to be interesting to watch Kevin once he's not on the block and, and so emotional and so frantic uh, to see the, the fun side of him break out a little bit more. Maybe a fun, interesting week, depending on who wins HOH. Uh, Kevin is certain, said he, he bet his whole game on the fact that, that Janelle is working with Cody and Tyler. No. And they, she didn't, but he's he's making that assumption. Uh, what is going on? Apparently, Davon has told people uh, that ha Keisha has the votes to stay. There, there's so much going on with this; it's a little tough. Apparently, apparently, she told Janelle that she was voting to keep Keisha, and Keisha had the votes. Uh, Janelle came back to Bailey and asked about that, and Bailey said, "Well, no, she wouldn't say that." Uh, and then Davon basically said, nah, I didn't say that. Uh, and so in a way, and Davon did say it apparently, but it, it kind of has driven a little bit of a wedge potentially between uh, Bailey and, and Janelle, who, who Bailey now thinks Janelle's trying to throw them under the bus. And it got a little bit confusing, but, but a lot of people playing that game right now. Uh, probably just, and some of it's just to see who's whispering what info to who, I think. Uh, but Bailey did tell Christmas down in the comic uh, book bedroom that she's a little bit worried that, that Davon is playing so hard and could get burned, that she wants her to lay off just a little bit. Uh, so that's, you know, and, and there's something to that. Uh, Davon is playing very hard. She's she's going after uh, a lot of angles and, and really seems to be kind of throwing Janelle under the bus uh, on a lot of things. Not a bad strategy, but is Janelle who the target she needs to worry about or some people on the other side? That's, that's what we need to be looking at as well. Uh, another example, and bear with me because it's a little confusing, but uh, apparently Davon told Christmas that Jan had said that Nicole Franzel and Danny are so tight in the real world that Danny is invited to Nicole Franzel's wedding. Uh, Christmas then brought that information back to Davon for confirmation. Davon said, yeah, that's, that's true. Uh, Jan, uh, Janelle then told Bailey uh, for confirmation that they had said this and, and it confused Bailey because Bailey wouldn't think that she'd say that. And I think Davon told Bailey Laird, no, nah, I didn't say that. So again, it's, it's kind of Davon saying some things that Janelle is then passing back and, and then she's denying it. And it's making Janelle make them think that Janelle maybe isn't being real truthful. You know, to try to strengthen your alliance, you, you try to get the other person to trust you more. Uh, but at the same time, maybe you, you throw, uh, throw other people under the bus and try to break up some of the other relationships. And some of that's happening uh, right now, I do believe. 
uh, it's hard to keep up. I spent all evening trying to figure out who said what and who really said what versus what they said. But uh, the key point, and I think this is what's important to keep that all in mind, is, is a couple of things. One, uh, Davon is playing a – you can call it a master game. You can call it a, a dangerous game. It uh, depends on if it comes back and bites or not. But she's, she's playing on multiple levels in terms of trying to get Janelle thrown under the bus, things like that. Uh, but she's playing hard. She is absolutely playing hard. So that's the first thing. The other key point, I think, there's just a lot of suspicion and fear of Janelle right now from that whole other side. They're so focused on Janelle and what she may do that, that that's, where they're, that's where their attention is focused. So we're seeing a lot of that happening this evening. Uh, what's going on? Christmas and Tyler are, are really worrying that, that Janelle is grabbing the outliers, uh, which would be like Ian, uh, Nicole Anthony. Uh, they talked about Nicole Anthony getting her makeup done and everything. Uh, Cody says they have to stop that. They need to grab those outliers before Janelle gets too much power. Also, uh, Danny tells uh, Cody, now this is interesting. This was late this evening. This is just a little while ago before I started doing this. Uh, Danny told Cody up in the HOH room that in terms of all the different alliances they have, that she really trusts uh, the alliance with, with Bailey and Davon more than she trusts the group of six that includes Memphis, that other alliance uh, that Cody's a part of. Um, I don't know if Cody feels the same way or not. It's uh, based on what we saw Cody talking to Nicole Franzel, who I think is, is really his tightest connection. Uh, they don't have a lot of trust for Danny either. So it may not go back the other direction, but at least from Danny's side, she's trusting Bailey and Davon and Cody as, as her tightest alliance. All right. So with all that being said, uh, let's talk about it. who are the winners and the losers this evening. Because I, I think there, I think there's a little bit of of each. Uh, tonight's winners, I I got to give it to Kevin. Kevin spent the last few days campaigning. It's paying off now. Uh, Kevin's got a lot of people who are going to vote to keep him either because they don't see him as a threat, because they feel sorry for him, or just because they think that yeah, Keisha may be uh, more of a threat uh, because of her connections with with Janelle and and Kayser and all that. So. Uh, give it to Kevin. He did what he needed to do. I think he survived. I'd be wrong come tomorrow night, but I think so. Uh, Kaser, as hard as Kaser played the first half of this week, second half, of it, he's, he's laying low. It seems like Janelle is catching a lot more heat than he is. Cody has said, oh, you know, I feel a little sorry for Kaser. It's more Janelle right now I'm worried about. So he's kind of backed off. I think that's working well. Uh, losers, and I hate to use that word. Uh, people there just, I think, have – hurt their position a little bit. Davon for playing so hard with such focus on Janelle. Now I think I admire and I respect, I think she's playing a masterful game, but she's got to be extremely careful uh, because yeah, yeah, she's so tight with Bailey. And if some of the stuff she says and then denies, if it comes back and creates issues between her and Bailey, well, that's not good. That, that really could hurt both their games. So Davon needs to be very careful. She's, she's, she's playing hard, but she has to be careful. Uh, the other loser. I'm going to have to not use that word because I don't like that. Uh, uh, Janelle, uh, just because she's continuing to attract so much attention, uh, she's trying so hard to to save uh, uh, Keisha, and I think that's bringing a lot of attention on her that that may hurt her if she does. And remember, she and Kayser don't have safety anymore because they already competed. So uh, if if they don't, one of them doesn't win HOH this week, it could be problematic. I think Janelle may be a bigger target than Kaser because she's been campaigning so hard to get Kevin evicted this week. So I think she needs to be uh, careful uh, as well. So, again, there you go, guys. Uh, like I said, tomorrow night we've got the eviction ceremony. I think uh, Kevin stays, Keisha goes, then the HOH. I think it's going to be a quick competition, a, a memory competition, sitting in a booth or just a random rolling a ball, something like that. I don't think it's going to be comp too complex because the uh, uh, because they had the backyard right up until till yesterday. Uh, but we shall see. Isn't it exciting? Most seasons we just now be getting the live feeds. We've had it for the past week. Makes uh, makes it so much easier to figure out what's going on. For so many alliances, we're still going to figure that over the next. It'll, so, it'll solidify based on what happens with this HOH win or competition tomorrow. All right, guys, y'all have a great evening. We will be talking tomorrow. SKD 143. Cheers, guys.